Uh, we will now open the Escada City Council meeting and we will do the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you please join me? I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to, to the flag the of the United States, United States of, America. of America and to, and the, republic to the republic for which it stands, which it stands. One, nation, one nation, under God, under God, God indivisible, individual, with liberty, with liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you. Uh, can we get roll call, please? Yes. Councillor Dunsmere? Here. Councillor Gates? Here. Councillor Spangler? Councillor Tenbush? Here. Mayor Drinkling? Here. Thank you, Sadie. Um, before we get this meeting started, I'd like to comment. I recently uh, uh, posted something on social media that was concerning. Um, I've got a lot of flashback for it. You may or may not have seen it. It was uh, due to the Black Lives Matter gathering. My intention was to keep violence out of the area and not so much to uh, negate their, their uh, gathering. But I expressed myself poorly. And for that, I have paid dearly. Um, but I wanna apologize to you, city staff, for all that you've endured today, I know it's been hard, and you've all had to answer questions that maybe you weren't ready to answer. But I apologize for that, and I will try to clear this up the best I can. Saying that, if you'd like to speak during tonight's meeting, if you chat your address and name to Sadie Main, our city recorder, she will put you on the list to chat. I don't know what the time limit is on that. What is the time limit, Sadie? Five minutes. Five minutes, okay, you yep. have five minutes to speak your piece. Um, I'm sure you have some choice things for me tonight, but uh, try to keep it, uh, um, how do I put this, nice, um, and get your point across. I would appreciate that, thank you. Um, in that, we are going to citizen and community group comment for the first time. I have Clackamas Fire District presentation by Chief Carlton. Um, I'll let you get started on that, and if there's any questions about that, you have that sent to all of you. Uh, you had a chance to look over the document. Um, I hope all of you've taken a quick look at that and maybe we have, you know, this will go pretty smooth. So Chief, go ahead and start your presentation. Great, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor, uh, members of the council and community members. Uh, we come before you tonight to, to talk again about uh, the authorizing resolution, which is uh, one step that is required as Clackamas Fire District number one and Estacada Fire District number 69 consider legal integration in the form of a merger. So we came before City Council on Monday, June 8th and talked a little bit about what the current contract for service has been providing to Estacada Fire residents, uh, how it's been performing, and also that this is a uh, step three in a three-step process as we uh, work towards uh, filing with the Clackamas County Elections Office to put this measure before uh, the voters within Clackamas and Estacada Fire on November 3rd of 2020. So on Monday, June 15th, the Clackamas Fire Board uh, heard this, uh, discussed it, and they voted to approve a resolution to move towards uh, legal integration in the form of a merger. On Thursday, June 18th, the Estacada Fire Board heard this and uh, approved it to move forward towards um, uh, legal integration. And tonight we come before the city council asking you to discuss and authorize uh, this resolution so that we can move this forward to the voters within both fire districts. So in your uh, packet, we have a short staff report. Uh, we have the resolution and the resolution is very similar to the one that both fire districts reviewed and passed. Uh, within that resolution, we are required to uh, put in a new uh, boundary map. So what will the geopolitical boundary of the Clackamas Fire District look like if a legal integration in the form of a merger were to go through in November? And then also describe a debt distribution plan. So upon legal integration, the assets and liabilities of Estacada Fire become uh, part of Clackamas Fire. So uh, with that, happy to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, are there any questions for uh, Chief Carlton? No, everybody's pretty well looked it over and we've been through this a few times and okay. we appreciate you and I think we're gonna, you're gonna do a great job. So I hope this all goes very smoothly. So we thank you for that. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate all that. And we'll get back to you at a later part of this uh, uh, agenda here. I see down here, we're gonna 
uh, vote on that. So um, when we do, I'll bring you back in for comment on that. Great, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, I have the first opening for well, comments. Mayor, Mayor, real quick, uh, yes. uh, before, let's go back to the apology and everything. I kind of want to hand it over to Katie. She sent out something earlier today. Uh, Katie, you want to mention what you sent out? Okay. Uh, I was thinking that we were going to probably talk about that during council business. Uh, seeing as how what I'm asking for is a, a joint statement from the entire council. And I think that that's more appropriate under council business. Okay. I just didn't know you wanted to get that out. Yeah, for, uh, is that all right with council if she does that? Is that fine? Okay, great. We'll move on with that then. Uh, Sadie, our first comment. Yeah, um, we've got Kate up first. Let me just, sorry, give me one second here. Okay. okay, Kate Alder, are are, are, okay, I see her there. There's no picture yet, is she gonna- She won't have a picture, but she she does, her mic should be on now. Okay, me? Kate, go right ahead. Hi, uh, we spoke in front of City Hall today, Mayor. Yes, Jason. we did, I remember you, thank you. Um, I appreciate your apology. Um, I'm still very bothered. Uh, that that was something that you felt comfortable saying on a public forum where people could have, I have it on my phone still, it hasn't disappeared. Um, okay. I don't think city business should be discussed on social media by the mayor. Okay. Um, you, you said in the statement that all city staff and I are working tirelessly to shut these vigils down. Um, would the rest of the people on here like to let me know if they would like to suppress First Amendment rights or are you guys open to protesting or is that a lie? No, I, I, I'm I, fine with that. Um, I, I told staff, I just apologized to staff and my council for well, even I'd bringing like to give that. Them an opportunity to tell me oh, okay. You want, you want them to speak? I, I do not agree with what he said. Thank you. I, I also do not agree. Thank you. I also do not agree. Thank you. Denise, are you part of the council or? No, but I'm probably in charge of the city staff and the city staff has not been working to shut anything down. In fact, uh, uh, and I'm, uh, I have talked to a couple people just letting us know about it and uh, we've had no reservations that they're using city hall to, to, uh, to do this. So we're good with it. Okay, um, then my next point would be that you said you were motivated by concern for our safety. Uh, is there a threat to our safety? And if there really is, you should do something besides post on next door to the people protesting. You should address the people that are making threats and being violent, and you should do that publicly. And to follow that statement, I hope that you guys all know about the history of Oregon and how ugly it is. Um, I hope you guys know about the reputation our town and our county has for racism and for ugliness in this regard. Uh, Mayor Drinkwine told me his hands were tied and he couldn't make a statement supporting Black Lives Matter because he's the mayor and he can't take sides. I sent you guys an article that the, Esta, or the Gresham City Council voted to fly a Black Lives Matter flag at City Hall and make a public statement in support of the movement for civil rights for everybody in 2020. Um, I think it's important that Estacada makes a public visible statement to our community, to the people that live here, that harbor hate for people of color and to the people that support people of color about exactly where the city stands. This is not a time to be neutral. This is a time to take a stand up and stand for what's right. And Mayor Drinkwine, you told me that you have a black brother, which felt a little bit like an excuse, honestly, and some justification that you couldn't possibly be racist because you grew up with a black person in your house. Um, it is possible for you to still harbor 
uh, racist ideals and ideology inside you unconsciously. We all do because our country and our culture has that. It is taught to us in school by the omission of black history, by white Jesus. It's ingrained in all of us. You guys need to make a public statement about where we stand as a community on this. That's what I have to say. I uh, thank you for your comment. Uh, next, I have um, Rebecca. Let Rebecca, me. I don't see her on here. Um, Rebecca Voigt. Okay, I Rebecca. I need to get her on unmuted. Okay. Okay, Rebecca. Hi there. Um, I, my question was covered by the last gal who spoke. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Move on, thank you. Uh, next one. Um, I don't have anybody else. That's it? Mm -hmm. Well, Katie, I thank you for coming forward on that. Oh, we just got a, uh, there's somebody from K2 that was up there that wanted to. Megan from K2, let me unmute her. You got her? Uh, yep. Yeah, she needs to give her full name to Sadie, please. Yeah. Okay, Megan, will you give your full name? I don't, is she still on there? Uh, she's still muted. Yeah, I've unmuted her on my end, so I need her to unmute on her end. Okay, Megan, can you hear us? Okay, let's just move along to the next one and I'll try to work with her. Okay. Um, looks like Frank George. Okay. And he needs an address. He gave his, I think. Yeah, he gave his. Okay, Frank? Uh, yeah, can you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, I just wanna appreciate, uh, say that I appreciate that um, the responsiveness in having this meeting so short notice to address this issue. Um, I am a, a co-organizer of the Sandy and now the Estacada Stand Up movement that is trying to um, address the issues of racism in Sandy and Estacada. And um, <clears throat> for me, I'm I'm curious because I know, especially uh, Mayor Drinkwine, in your apology that you gave through like uh, through K two you talked about the threats that are happening uh, to you from people who don't support the Black Lives Matter movement. Yes. Because what I, what I noticed was that you made the, the post in the Estacada Neighborhood Uncensored group, but not the more mainstream Estacada Neighborhood Watch group. And I'm wondering because for me and for many people, the uncensored group is known for a lot of really awful, ugly racism. And I'm wondering if you made the post in that group to try to speak to that kind of side that maybe is giving you a lot of uh, ugly comments about you know, or threats or, or why you chose to make that post in that group instead of through an official page like uh, other politicians might have chosen to do. Um, I'm wondering why you chose that venue to uh, issue the statement that you did? It's a good question. I uh, didn't intentionally choose that page. That's just where I was getting a lot of people calling in to me or writing in because I have all the social media pages. I try to keep up on that to feel what people are feeling and what they're needing. And people were mentioning the violence that may be coming and I was trying to calm them down and let them know that, you know, we're gonna watch for violence. We're gonna make sure our streets stay safe. That's my main concern. And that's where I got caught up in what I said. And that's when I said the wrong thing. And that's what I was apologizing for. But, you know, there's no backing up once you put something out there. You know that better than I do. So it wasn't about racism. I'm far from that. Um, if anybody knew my history or even took a bother to even look me up, maybe you'd learn that before you judge me. But at the same time, it's out there. Um, at this point, I just hope it gets better. I don't know. Yeah, I, I definitely... Yeah appreciate that and I, I understand personally as in my walk and trying to understand my uh, journey with racism and, and where I fit into that that it's hard to understand when we make those mistakes but I guess I also 
I, I look at it also as an issue with, because I know that there was some controversy also around your wife's printing business with a prior incident uh, pertaining to uh, uh, some complaints of racism. And so I think a lot of people were worried with this happening, coupled with those rumors of before um, that it was uh, a pattern, I guess. And so all of those things kind of aligning was kind of somewhat concerning. No, that was not, a I mean, that was not at all related um, to that incident. That was a personal thing between two people that got blown out of proportion. But uh, it was not about racism. Um, I am not a racist. I, I, let me just clarify that as best I can. I am not a racist by far. I love my citizens in this city and I was trying to make things safe so there wouldn't be an altercation because I, I, I was just trying to keep it civil. But in the process, I failed because I am not the best writer. And unfortunately, that worked against me. And now here I sit, apologizing. But again, I am sorry for what I wrote. And oh. it is sincere. <clears throat> so, Sean, going on uh, that statement that you just made, going off of the uh, you're not a good writer, I would ask you as a council member that if you have anything to say about uh, city business that you first come to city staff and us councilmen first and councilwomen first before you post anything like that. That's what I would ask. I think I, I, I agree. Okay, and back to to the color. Uh, that that's all I had to say. I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate your apology very much. I think that there is a lot of work to be done still, but I appreciate you taking this first step in, in apologizing. I thank you for that. Hey, Frank, um, I look forward to meeting you on Friday at six o'clock around six. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that. Looking forward to it. Yeah, next caller. Okay, so Megan from KATU, her question is, we're hearing from demonstrators that they wanna see action. What is the mayor's plan to address racial inequality in the community? Well, first I need to talk to staff and the other counselors and see where they want to approach this. Obviously, me making that decision on my own wasn't such a good idea when I decided to write something that was inappropriate and my mistake. So from now on, everything I do, we will sit down and discuss this and come up with a plan of action. I would like to say something, if that's uh, okay. That's fine. Katie? Um, I believe that democracy is about having a conversation. And I believe that people who have the ideas should absolutely be contacting people who sit in the seats that we sit in and share those ideas with us and tell us how we can, how we can meet them halfway, because that's the only way that we're going to be able to compromise or see change is if actual people step up and help us make that change we can't do it by ourselves if people have ideas share them with us you don't have to necessarily protest although i completely 100 percent support everyone doing that but have a conversation with us too that's the second step okay. um is bacon still on there um no she just that was the question she had okay. um so the next speaker next. is madison okay Madison, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, so Clackamas County commissioners recently passed a res resolution against racism. And I was just wondering um, if the Estacada Council has any um, plans to do something similar to that or a plan for public education on your stance or um, you look, we look forward to your leadership we we think that um we deserve a plan of how you're gonna remedy this and i i think that's a good idea i think that uh staff and ourselves and counselors will get together and work something up and keep you informed as we do that once we have a plan in place and i appreciate that question thank you you bet um any questions for madison before she goes no uh next person Okay, it is Fred. Okay, Fred, can you hear me?
Fred, are you there? Oh, here. Okay, Fred. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay, excellent. I'm kind of slow on the uptake with technology. I'm new to this. <laughs> That's um, all right. I just wanted to say, um, you know, I don't know any of you um, except for Jerry. I know Jerry, um, but uh, Mayor Drinkwine, um, I don't know you. And um, I won't judge you. Um, we all make mistakes and we all say things that we come back and later go, you know, have it bite us in the backside. Um, I appreciate you making this first step of recognizing um, that the, it was an inappropriate comment. Um, and Katie, um, something that you had mentioned was that, um, you know, um, to compromise and meet halfway. I just want to let you guys know that this is not a political statement. Um, this is civil rights. And, you know, and, and so for me, that's what this is really about. Do not suppress civil rights. And we need to have a clear, concise statement coming from the city of Estacada that we do not support racism in any way, shape or form. You know, I grew up in Clackamas County um, and in the 80s, you know, we come out to Estacada to play football and to play soccer and to play sports out here. Estacada has always had a reputation as being backwards picks. And um, I know that you guys have to realize that your constituency here in Estacada is changing. And, you know, I'm kind of a backward hick my own self. So I, I feel that it's okay that I say that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's like the, the voting constituency is changing here in Clackamas County. It's changing in Estacada. And I think that you need to realize that. And I'm sure you already have. You've seen all these new houses that are being built. You know, we are a bedroom community for Portland. And um, a lot of those softer values, more liberal values are coming to our city. And um, I, I, just, I just hope that you guys take this to heart that this has nothing to do with, um, you know, with politics. Um, it has never been a left or a right issue on whether somebody can vote, whether somebody can have a conversation. You know, it's like we were talking about this in the car this evening. Um, I have never had to sit down with my children um, and say, hey, guys, you get pulled over by the cops. I've never had to have a special conversation with them. Um, you know, I've never had to talk to my children about, hey, when you go to the cash, you know, check register, keep your hands out where people can see them. You don't want people to think you're stealing. Um, and I know that there are some people that have to have those conversations, you know. Some people wake up with this feeling in the pit of their stomach every day knowing that America is not equal to them. And um, I, I know that we have some good people in this city and I'm trusting that y'all are part of that, that you're part of the solution and not part of the problem. Um, and I would be more than happy to talk to any of you about this. Um, Katie, um, I would love to get a dialogue going. Um, there's just, there's so many things that are happening in our world right now. And I think that Estacada, you know, can actually be a shining example of how a city can be how a rural working class community can be. So that's, I guess that's all I got, just speaking off the cuff. That was good, Fred. I appreciate that. And Fred, I appreciate your comments. And I just want to clarify, I'm not asking anyone to compromise on racism. That, that should never be compromised. Racism it has no place in our society, um, never has. And especially in 2020, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything to make sure that it doesn't have a place in our society. Um, I was speaking more to some of the, the ideas that are, are being portrayed by the particular movement, um, especially in regards to police. But that is a conversation, again, having being had at multiple levels, and I would love to have it at our local level to see what we can do to implement at our local level as well. So thank you for your comments, truly. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Okay, uh, next. I'd, I'd just like to say um, for those of you that don't know Fred, um, I, I strongly implore, get to know the guy. Um, your life will be better knowing that man. Right. He, is, he is truly a great person. He's an amazing guy. So uh, anybody that has the opportunity, get to know him. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, next on the list, is there anybody else? I don't think so. I think we've got okay. them all. I want to thank everybody for making their comments tonight. It was most wonderful to hear from all of you, and all of you have valid points and things that make real sense in our time. So we will try to get this together and bring it to you at a later date with a solution to how we're gonna handle this. Um, but again, thank you. Um, uh, it looks so like 
sorry, it looks like the, the one of the people from earlier is back on and has a question. Uh, who is that? You Rebecca, that Rebecca Vogt. Yeah, the rule is one one time per um, topic for purpose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Fair. thank you, Rebecca. Sorry we couldn't get back to you. Um, moving out of citizen and group comment. Uh, does anybody have any other questions before I, I move out here? Are we good to move on? Okay. Um, we are now at the consent agenda. All of you have had a chance to read over the consent agenda. Do I have any questions related to that? No? Uh, can somebody give me a motion for the consent agenda? I move to approve the consent agenda. Okay, I have a first on the table. Do I have a second? Second. I have a first and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. So thank you, Chief, for your input and everything that went with it. Thank you. Um, I'm moving on to department and committee reports. So I have uh, all of my counselors. I know you haven't had any meetings, so I don't know if you have too much to add in there, but is there anything else you'd like to say at that point? No, okay. Uh, see manager's report. <laughs> Nothing? Okay, uh, moving right along, we are now at the public hearing. And I will read this out. We will now open the public hearing to discuss restoration or uh, resolution 2020-010, a resolution adopting and appropriating funds from the supplemental budget for the fiscal year of 2019-2020. I will now ask staff to explain the funding. Um, yeah, so this is just a supplemental budget for our current fiscal year, um, adding some funds to our building permit fees and our contractual services for building permits because we went, uh, we've received more building permit activity than we had budgeted for. So this adds a uh, hundred thousand dollars to both the revenue and the expenditure line. And then it also adds um, $53,600 to our LID bonding fund because we received payments that we hadn't budgeted for and therefore paid down our loan. Okay. That's good. All right. Do we have any questions from uh, the audience or anything out there on this? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, are there any questions or comments from the counselors regarding this? No. Okay. I will now close the public hearing and reopen the city council meeting. And we will now uh, vote on this. Um, do we want a, a roll call or a, a handheld, or how do we want this? Yeah, handheld is fine. Handheld? Okay, so all those in supplemental budget FY 2019-2020 resolution 2020-0-010, uh, raise your hand. Okay, that looks like uh, uh, all across the board. All right, so motion passes. Uh, now we're at council business. So on council business, I have a resolution 2020-010, a resolution adopting and appropriating funds for the supplemental budget for fiscal year 2019-2020. That was so the, if I could have a motion. Passed. That was what you just passed. Oh, that's what I just, okay, yep. we're, we're there. Okay, good. And then I have resolution 2020-007, a resolution for the purpose of transferring and appropriations per ORS 294-463. So, I move to approve resolution number 2020-007. Okay, second. I have a first. A first and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, that motion passes. Next on the list, I have resolution 2020-011, 20 a resolution adopting the budget making appropriations of as imposing the tax and categorizing the, the taxes for the 2020 and 2021 city budget. So do I have a motion on this? I move to approve resolution number 2020-011. Do I have a second? A second? Second. Okay, <laughs> first and second, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, all those opposed? Motion passes. We are next at the Citizen and Community Group Conference oh, 2. Mayor, Mayor, before so, we move on from Council yeah. Business, I, I would oh, yeah, like right. the, uh, 
the council to give their input on the statement that you received via email. Um, okay. I don't know if one of you might have that available uh, and up on your screen. I'm unfortunately using the screen and I can't figure out iPads. I'm sorry. I'm an Android okay. person. Um, I don't know if one of you might have it available and can read it aloud. I do not, uh, but I might be able to grab it. Denise, you, do you, you have, have it? it? Uh, I'm on the iPad. That's the only place I get the email and I don't know. I also don't know how to use it correctly. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't you just read I can, it? I can read it. Okay. Thank you, Denise. I can read the proposed. Um, let me get back to it. Uh, oh, I can read it. Hey, guys, I yeah. can read it if you want Okay, to go it. ahead. Go ahead, Justin. Oh, oh Casey. 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 It'll be Casey. Members of City Council have been made aware of a Facebook post made by Mayor Drinkwine and want to make perfectly clear that no one working or representing the city of Vesicata have ever made any attempt to limit anyone's right to peaceful assembly regarding any matter. We value the diversity in our city, including diversity of opinions and our, our, and our focus has always been protecting the safety of our citizens who are exercising their First Amendment rights. Sure. Do you, you, yes, thank you, Casey. Do you as a council agree with that statement? Yes. I think you have that. Do you as a council feel comfortable issuing that as a joint statement to uh, address how we as a group feel about the posts earlier today? I think it's a start. Yes. I think that's a great start. And I think that it sounds like we need to have a, a deeper conversation, um, maybe in a workshop setting, but uh, that would be a good start to to what happened today and then moving forward, I think that it would really be a benefit to all of us to meet with other community group leaders um, to start the conversation moving forward of how we can better represent everyone in our city, um, including every movement that is out there. Okay. I uh, see that everybody's in agreement there. So uh, Denise, where do we go from here on this? We'll take care of it. We'll, we'll send that out. Okay, so we'll wait till she sends that out before we uh, vote on it. Is that right, or? Uh, pretty much everyone. We I don't think we need a vote. It was consensus to go okay. ahead and send it. Yep. All right. So so be it. Thank you, Denise. Um, thank you, Katie, for bringing that. Okay. Um, let me see here. Where am I? We've done the public hearing, any citizen group comment. No, have we done the second citizen group comment? We have, right? So um, no. Okay. So Rebecca was, she had asked to speak again, but she was the one that didn't actually speak because she said her question was covered. So oh, okay. I think uh, she wants to speak during this. I don't see her on the attendee oh. list anymore. Does anybody see her oh, on okay. there? Because I can't find her now. Okay. Um, so off? Rebecca, if you're there, can you send me a chat real quick? But I don't see her listed. Okay. We'll get a hold of her and, and see her concerns. and and um, maybe set up some kind of a town hall with um, counselors to talk about this a little bit more in detail. Okay. I appreciate everybody coming tonight. I know it's been a busy um, day. In, yeah. the, in the Q&A, Allie Hart says she yeah. hoped to make a statement. Okay. Allie really Hart. quick, I would love to see a town hall happen. And I know that with the pandemic, things are going online. Is it possible to consider doing a town hall online in the near future? Yeah. 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 I, I'd love to have that conversation. Sure. Absolutely. Sure, okay, they'll look into that and set that up and get to us. So we appreciate that, Katie, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, so so Allie Hart, 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 Hart is on. Okay, Allie, go ahead. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, in regards to the earlier statements that you guys made about how you're, or specifically, I guess, Sean Drinkwine, um, how you're, I, want, I was just wondering how you personally are addressing your own racist views and how your, I mean, I think it's a difficult time for anybody right now. Like, as a white person, it's, I mean, it's not fun to like have a deeper insight into what makes you a racist and what kind of biases that we have. And I just want to know what you're personally doing to educate yourself and try and, um, you know, work through the 
biases that we have and just like, what are you doing personally to educate yourself? Well, first off, I'm not racist. Um, let's get that clear. Uh, racists um, don't have to say they're not racist. Well, you, you, you can believe it or not. I mean, that's your prerogative, but I am not racist. Um, I misspoke or miswrote um, my intention. My intention was to break up the collection so it wouldn't get hurt because I heard things were going to happen. I worded it wrong on my part. I understand that. And as far as clarification as to what I'm going to do in my life, I've making it all day. Uh, with everybody that I talk to because I am not a racist and I'm trying to get that across the best I can. I will continue to do that. Um, and that's about all I can do to better myself. Okay. Um, yeah, that didn't really clarify exactly. I would just like to know exactly what you are doing. I mean, I'm, it's important to have these conversations and to expose ourselves in a certain way, but um, yeah, just what are you personally doing? Well, did you join into our council? I'm actually going to be having discussions in the future about this very thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if you were on there when we decided that and when we we're going to bring it back um, and we're going to have workshops. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be a part of that. So I'm going to learn a lot. Okay. Well, then that's good then. Yeah. So thank you for that comment. Okay. Is she still on there or is she out? Done? Okay. Um, all that being said, I've had a very long day. So uh, I want to thank you all for coming tonight and practicing uh, good, good city business and doing your job. I know it's hard on occasion and I brought this one on. So I am sorry for that. Um, may your day get better and uh, hopefully mine will too. So I want to adjourn this meeting on that note. So thank you very much. And this meeting is adjourned. Hope to, hope to see you guys Friday night at the high school.